and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem named as maximum number of two cross two squares. So we are given the base of a right angled isosceles triangle. So before moving forward, let us first discuss the right angled isosceles triangle. So right angled isosceles triangle is nothing but a triangle of this form. Okay, where this would be forming a 90 degree and then this would be this and then there is one more thing that needs to be understood the thing is this side is equal to this side so if the given base size is s it would also have a size of s itself. okay so let us move back to the question so we need to find the maximum number of squares that can fit in this triangle with the given base. So suppose the given base is 8. So what we need to do is we are given the base as 8. So this kind of triangle would be given. Okay. And how the output is 6? See here we can accommodate one triangle and here we can accommodate two. And here we can accommodate two triangles and at this point at the third line we can accommodate three triangles and this distance if you observe then this is nothing but the distance two and this is nothing but the distance two so now if you think of this problem and visualize this figure you would see that in the first step two is wasted why 2 is wasted? Because it you can see it is a kind of half of a square that is being wasted. And at the next point, half of the square is there, but one triangle is there. At the next square, again half is there, but two triangles are there. So if you observe that after subtraction of 2, in the first level, we have one triangle, we have two triangles, and we have three triangles. This is what we are having. Okay. So now, how can we solve this problem? To solve this problem, we can see that what we can do is, suppose the given is 8. So we know that 2 would get us wasted. So we would have 6. Now what we would do is, we would take the last level that is 6 divided by 2 and then after that point when the last level is taken into consideration see this is what this is the distance 2 because it is 2 multiplied by 2 square this, this means that the all the sides would be of size 2 that means if we have taken a distance 2 and here 2 is already considered then the leftover would be 8 minus 2 plus 2 that is 4 so now we would again have 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 then again we would move forward and we would have 2 divided by 2 okay then we have 0 okay this is what we can do we can have count the squares at this position then this position then this position and this 2 as this is an extra part we would just remove them okay but this is just like we are having in reality we are having 4 levels but one level is being wasted that is why what we would do is we would subtract 2 at each point. Okay. So now the solution can be thought of like this. Like till the base is greater than 2. What we would do is we would first have base is equals to base minus 2. And then answer plus is equals to answer divided by 2. So now the solution can be thought of like this that till the base is greater than 2. Why? Because if the base is equal to 2 that means 2 would get wasted. Why? Because it would be a kind of this kind of structure. Okay. So this would get wasted. If it is equal to 2 then also it would get wasted. If it is more than 2 then only we can fit in square. That is what we can do. So now what we would do is we would first add the answer. Answer is equals to answer plus base minus 2 
divided by 2. This is what we would do. Because say 8 minus 2 that is 6 by 2. And then we would modify the base. And then we would modify the base itself. See after 8 we have 6 then 4 then 2. This is what we would do. So see what we would do is we would subtract base is equals to base minus 2. So if you just observe the figure this would be the kind of solution. Okay. So at each step you are subtracting 2. Okay. So this suppose you have the value 100. So how many steps would be would be considered? We can roughly say that we would have around 50 steps. So we can say if this base is n then we would roughly have n by 2. So ignoring the constant it would be big O of n. Okay. Why? Because it is 1 by 2 into n. That is ignoring the constants. Okay. So now will this work or not? Even before implementing, even if the expected time complexity is not given, okay, what we can see is it is 10 to the power 9. So 10 to the power 9 is much greater than 10 to the power 8. So definitely this would give me a time limit exceeded. So now how to solve this problem, Siddha? How to solve this problem? Now to solve this problem, if you again go back to the very first diagram, I would just remove all the annotations I have made and then we would say that if we remove this part, if we remove this part, then this would contribute 1, this would contribute 2, this would contribute 3 and the answer is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3. Do we have this? Yes, we have this. Okay, fair enough. Now 1 plus 2 plus 3 and like going down it would be 4 then 5 then 6. So we can say that this is nothing but the sum of the first n numbers. So what is the formula of sum of first n numbers AP? That is nothing but n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? This is the formula that you need to be remembered. Okay, If you are not remembering this, please write it down somewhere and please learn this by heart. Okay, you would need this formula a lot number of times. Okay, fair enough. So now there is one more thing to understand that each block is taking two. Again, this is two. Again, this is two. So what we can do is we can simply do this kind of thing. Like, see, eight minus two is six. Now this six would be occupied by all the squares. Okay, this six would be occupied all the squares. So now what I can do is, I can divide it by 2 with the floor value. Why floor value now? Because if the value is 7 and we divide it, mind, subtract 2 from it, that is 5, then we can only accommodate. So this would be kind of the structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if we are 7, so this part would get cut off. Okay. Then we can place a 2 into 2 square at this position at this position but not this position so what we need to do is we need to have first base minus is equals to 2 first thing we need to do this then we need the floor value of it okay floor value that is the number of values we can accommodate so floor value can be easily attained by doing this that when divided by 2 because integer division gives us the floor value okay so what we would do is we would first take out the floor value after that, 8 minus 2 is equals to 6. So 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. Now we can say that 3 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2 into 2 is equals to 6. So this is how this is working. So see, first what we are little, let me just sum up before implementation. What we can do is, we are first removing the part where we can't have a square. I will just sum up everything. So first this part is being removed. And then we can see that each block is taking 2, 2, 2. Okay. So 2, 1. Then 2, 2. Then again 2 and this time 3. So what we would do is we would simply divide it by 2 only. Now by dividing it by 2, we can say that we only need to accommodate 2 into 1. Okay. This is just like this. Okay. So now this is for the simplicity. Now let us move to the implementation. It will be a very small implementation. You will understand it much better. Now let us move to the implementation. Now what we would do is we would first have base 
minus is equals to two, and then we need to return long long int. Okay, so long long int, and then answer is equals to zero. Okay, now what we would do is base divide by equal to two, and this would give me the integer division. That means it would give me the floor value. Okay, now we have the floor value. Now what we can do is answer equals to n multiplied by n plus one divided by two. Here n is base, so base multiplied by base plus one divided by two, and then we would simply return the. Are we making? Making errors at this point of time. At this point of time. Okay, so this gives you an AC. So as we are only initializing variables, that is only one. So the space complexity is constant. The time complexity, we are just using arithmetic operators. So time complexity is big of one, that is constant. Now, if you were here till this point of the solution, consider liking the video and commenting on the video for better reach of this video so that this work could be justified. Thank you and have a nice day.